Is WWE removing Sting's history? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the General Jerry channel. Um, we have some very bizarre news right now. Um, it's something that I actually noticed on Raw, but then I was like, I'll probably not talk about it. However, I wasn't the only one that actually noticed this. It's uh, Sting was removed from the package at... Survivor Series last year, if you remember, Sting was at Survivor Series last year. He intervened in the authority angle and uh, removed the authority. On for as I'm sure you're all aware, the authority then came back, which was completely diabolical. But um, anyway, uh, WWE and Sting could have been having problems with each other. Um, Brian uh, Brian Hernandez um, has speculated on the Wrestling Observer Radio um, that maybe something has come out, at, that something will come out in the next few days. Hernandez comments stem from the fact that WWE played a vi uh, video package highlight reel on Raw that showed the last year's Survivor Series in the main event. However, they totally erased Sting's major role in the proceedings. Dave Meister actually agreed with him and that he found it a little weird. Why would they erase Sting from history like that? But it still reminded the audience, um, but, it, but still they don't want the audience to be reminded of the woeful authority being removed um, and the angle that they had. Um, it is a sp strange speculation, one in which hopefully will become clear soon. Sting is currently injured, having been unable to cope with the physicality in Night of Champions main event against WWE Champion Seth Rollins. Could that be the reason why WWE is now covering um, up this huge uh, moment from last year's Survivor Series? Possibly even before the injury, Sting got tired quickly in the Rollins match and was clearly struggling. Perhaps WWE were really annoyed at his level of fitness. Between the injury and WWE not even acknowledging his existence, it is very it does look unlikely that Sting will be wrestling at WrestleMania 32 next year. I'm um, so speculation that Sting might not wrestle at WrestleMania 32. Um, I actually did notice this on Raw because I was looking at the package. I was like, oh, they're gonna talk about Sting. And Sting wasn't mentioned in the package. Now maybe this is maybe the the wrestling the, the a wrestling observer radio looking too much into it. Maybe I'm looking into it a little bit too much because I did notice that. Um, maybe it's just speculation. I don't know. Sting is still on WWE.com. It's not like they're gonna be. It's not like a Hulk Hogan thing where they're gonna remove him off the face of the planet. Um. But uh, maybe WWE's pissed off at Sting um, because of his level of fitness. Maybe they were angry at the main event that happened between him and Seth Rollins. Again, honestly, I don't. I personally thought it was a little bit mixed matched. I don't think Sting versus Seth Rollins really should have happened. Sting is not at that age where he can wrestle against Seth Rollins, who is doing flips and kicks and doing crazy things in the ring. He needs someone maybe at his age, maybe Undertaker. But ladies and gentlemen, it is reports that are saying that Sting will not be um, at WrestleMania 32. I hope they're wrong. But what do you think, guys? What do you think about this? Or uh, am I looking into it a little bit too much? Is is the Wrestling Observer Radio looking into it a little bit too much? Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.